Hello, so I'm doing my practical journal guidelines assignment. So since you say it can be recorded, I decided to just kind of just, you know, since I'm comfortable and you say it's fine that I can just share my story. Um, this video is going to be a little long, maybe like 10 minutes or so, but I just want to share everything a little bit. So you talk, um, you talk about that we needed to review the first letter that we wrote to ourselves um, from the beginning of the semester. So what I wrote about me was the saying, hi, Carlos. I just want to take a moment to tell you how proud I am of you. You've been working harder than anyone for five years trying to get to you, trying to get to you, to your degree, you know what I'm saying? Trying to graduate. So that's just covering the first sentence. And that really touched me, you know, because my graduation is coming up next Saturday, you know, yeah. So I'm really excited about that. So, you know, the letter was about talking about how I see myself within yoga. And I'm gonna talk about it a little bit, what how yoga impacted my life as well. But just doing this letter, man, I'm just, I'm just reflecting back and I'm grateful that you make us do this letter, this letter, write this letter to ourselves actually because just thinking about it, man, like I'm really gonna graduate college and be done and, you know, and, and, and move, move forward with my life. Uh, and I also write this, I say, I remember at the beginning of this class, how sad you were about school and life and how much you wanted to quit everything and just just get a regular job and make some money, but you didn't. You kept going. You kept giving your best each and every day. Even when you felt like everybody around you stopped caring about you. When you felt the basketball wasn't there anymore, that you wasn't playing as much minutes as I wanted to. That's another thing. Like this year was really challenging for me when it comes to um, playing time and stuff like that. And because I've always been one of the best players on the team. This year, unfortunately, it wasn't that I wasn't one of the best of the players on the team. I feel like it was more that was, I wasn't as needed. My role on the team wasn't as big as I wanted to, which is completely fine. So uh, we won a lot of games. I enjoyed my time with my teammates and my coaches here at FCU. It was amazing, you know? And and this class helped me a lot. This class helped me a lot. It, it showed me, it, I know it was a few times that I wasn't there or sometimes that I didn't put my camera out. It was good, very like touchy for me. Like I, I, I took this time not only to do yoga, but when I was in this class, I, I tried to just take a moment to like connect and, 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 and think about how I was feeling. It was more like therapeutic like 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 the therapeutic or something. I don't know how exactly to say it, but it was just like a special connection that I was feeling in this class, you know? I, I would do the exercises. Or sometimes as simple, I would just lay on the floor, you know, with a cube and feel like free. Just take deep breaths, like trying to follow the whole inhale, exhale thing. You know what I'm saying? Trying to just connect and lay all those feelings out because it was really challenging for me. You know, another thing about the letter that I that I wrote to myself that I really love, it was like, just know I'm here to tell you how much I love you, Carlos. I'm proud. I am, I am here for you even if nobody cares. I know how you feel. Amazing things are coming for you. You're going to accomplish a lot in the future because you are a beautiful person, a beautiful friend, a beautiful husband, you are amazing, and you care about people around you. So you know what I'm saying? That's just encouraging myself at the beginning of the class. Trust me, I was reading this in a moment of my life where I was like, yo, what am I doing? Like, I wasn't even feeling like doing none of this, but I decided to do it. And, and, and obviously, it was deeper than just getting the 20 points. Yes, I was getting a grade for it, but just writing this, it was like me kind of like trying to manifest this in my life and a lot of this i do feel better about myself i do you know i'm excited to grow and and to do new things moving forward and i don't know man this this letter right here 
It was just a simple, and the fact that you did it at the beginning of the class, this is literally season. I wasn't playing, I, I'm feeling down, I'm missing my wife, I barely see my wife, family. So I was really, I was really in a dark, 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 dark. And to finish talking about the letter, uh, I just want to cover the, I'm just grateful for, for this assignment. And, and to finish, I, I wrote this to myself. Make sure to love on your wife and respect her more than every more than anything every day. I love you, Carlos. And I point that out. You might be like, oh, your wife. My wife is one person and specifically they take the time and always encourage me to try new things. And, and I always talk about my assignments. And I remember her talking about this letter and I was like, my, my babe, like, I don't really feel like I don't see myself you know like like in a high note in the in the coming months and it's like if anything i'm done I'm, I'm down bad and she's like no babe you gotta focus on god you gotta you gotta encourage yourself you know just just you know just kind of like you know push yourself to to where you want to be by and take this letter for it so it's like i'm just grateful and, and i just wanted to cover that the other part about the assignment that you um you say I had to do 15, 30 entries and stuff like that. I personally, I'm a little confused on that part. So since I'm doing a video, I might just cover the questions if that's okay. Hopefully that's okay while you're watching this video. But I cover the first part. And the second question would be, what do you learn about yourself? Well, this class, like I say, taught me that um, you can manifest. You can manifest when you know what you want. And and the yoga, this might sound different, or this is my personal opinion. The yoga can bring not only like this peace of your body or help you, your blood flow and everything. It can just connect you to your life, to your goals. Because even though, I'll, I'll be honest, even though sometimes I didn't do all the stretches because it, one reason or another I was tired or some. At least I took the time to lay on the floor, breathe, trying to like, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to be in the moment, take that moment for me to regroup and feel connected with the class, connected with my goals, connected with what I wanted to do. So yeah, this class showed me um, about myself that I can use yoga as a, as a meditation to connect with, my, with myself. And, and, and when I get with those moments where I just don't, don't feel like doing anything or or, you know, I got God, but it's just, you know, this is a more, I got God too, I can pray, but as well I have yoga where I can like meditate and take a moment for myself and, 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 and move forward. Uh, what do you learn about yoga practice on the mat? Um, like I say, one of my favorite was um, just kind of just breathing, laying down. And I also like the one that like I just kind of like sit down. I don't remember exactly the name of it, just to be honest. So I kind of just sit down, open my legs, and kind of meditate. Kind of like like, kind of like the pictures that you see everywhere, where like your back straight. I'm trying to keep my back straight. I I was sitting against the wall most of the time, so I would sit against the wall, cross my legs, and take deep breaths, and to follow when you say, you know, breathe and inhale and stuff. So that was kind of one of my favorites, you know. And off the mat, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. What do you learn about yoga practice off the mat? Off the mat, just out of the presentations alone, just out of the presentation alone, that all my classmates there's like, I know yoga can help people with diabetes. Going back to my wife, you're gonna be like, oh, this man. But no, going back to my wife, she has diabetes type one. And, and and type you know and, and she had type two growing up and then became type one and stuff so it's like just hearing something that's kind of affecting me because you know as, as, as my wife has it it's affecting my life as well and the fact that i told her the other day hopefully when i go home now after i graduate we can sit down and, and maybe practice some yoga and 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 and, and we can and we can see how this can impact her life with her condition, you know what I'm saying? So I'm really excited about that part. I didn't know that, especially, you know, 
I know about how like, you know, your body relax, relaxation, help your shoulders. I also learned about the shoulders, you know, keep you balanced. Like it's so many things that I learned off the mat, just out of the presentations alone. This is without all the information that you were giving us, which was amazing. But I just want to point out the presentation since the presentation just happened literally this past two, three weeks, you know, we're focusing on presenting. So that's why I wanted to point that out. And for the last two questions, what did you plan continuing forward, you know, continuing practice? Um, like I say, I'm planning on going home, especially practice the one about or oh, exercises focus on diabetes, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like she gave an overall review saying like you can do these poses. So I would like to go back, maybe do a little more research and learn how I can do this with my wife. So hopefully this can impact her life in a way where, you know, she can get better, you know what I'm saying? And, and like it and even find the peace that I like to find, you know, maybe just breathing, you know, taking the moment for herself. So that'd be awesome. And the last question would be, what is your overall takeaway from this semester course? Well, like I say, my my take on the class will be that yoga is, is just so much bigger than just stretching. Like people take yoga as like, oh, you stretch, oh, you're stretching, like, you know? So yoga is way bigger than just a simple stretch. Yoga can, 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 sh can give you peace of mind, can show you the way where you don't feel like doing things, you know? Yoga can help your body mentally, physically, your blood, your blood sugar, you know? It's like yoga is actually, it's like a medicine, you know? So that's kind of like what I got from this semester. It helped me so much um, on meditation and, and connect. You know, and things like the letter, right? A letter to myself, you know, and, and and taking the 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 whole breathing and the time and the class to connect with myself bring me so much joy. So I'm just grateful for 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 the for this class in general and to you, you know, for for teaching the class and, and for allowing me, you know, to to do this presentation here, this video. I choose the video because I wanted to, you know, show some kind of respect and, and do the video so you can see, you know, that that, that I'm, I'm comfortable speaking. I just, you know, the, the things like I was busy, um, I went out of town, but I just wanna say thank you again for allowing me to do this and and for the class and, and, and I wish you best of luck to you and, 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 and a big hug to you, thank you.